Welcome back to NBA Today. I'm Emilio McMilly Geiler. And I'm Arisa Jo. Attention seniors, it's that time of the year for you to wrap up your college applications for the year. Ms. Williams wants to remind you that this Friday, November 9th, is the deadline for you to have applications for six different colleges filled out. See Mrs. Williams about your applications, or if you're an athlete, talk with Ms. Totora. The penalty for missing this deadline is having your privileges revoked, so stay on top of your game. In addition, coming up on Friday, November 16th, is our senior, first Senior Jeans Day. Mr. Fuller wants to remind us that the dress code for this is typical jeans, appropriate school shoes, as well as your senior hoodies or shirts. Remember that we are lucky to have this privilege, so make sure you're following the rules. With the arrival of fall and winter, Nurse Tamla wants to remind everyone that we're coming up on flu season. Here are a few tips to keep you from getting sick. First, stay warm. If you wear your clothes in layers, the heat trapped in between the layers will help keep you warm. If you get too hot, you can always lose a layer. Second, stay dry. Nothing shows you like wet skin. Your outermost clothing layer should be water and windproof. Remember that your Lose 60% of your body heat out of your head and neck. Wear a scarf, gloves, mittens, or a warm hat. Lastly, remember to use the hand sanitizer dispensers located around campus to keep germs away. The main health risks of cold weather can be easily avoided if you use common sense. Coming up on the 7th 7th is this year's Coffee House Jam. Coffee House Jam is a time for students to meet up in the student center to hang out and have a good time. In addition to being served hot coffee and hot chocolate, students can sit and listen to fellow classmates give live performances in a few different formats. Those who are interested can give a stand-up comedy routine, play a musical instrument, sing a song, or can do a monologue from a play. Keep in mind that performance space is limited, so dancing acts will not be allowed. Open auditions will be held November 14th and 15th, and sign-up sheets are in Mr. Foley's office. It's going to be a great time, so sign up or come to the Student Center and hang out. At this time, we would like to congratulate a Monver student who has literally raised the bar of Monver athletics. Our very own Tian Kui Ha, a senior, is now a world powerlifting champion after deadlifting 413 pounds. He achieved this feat due to his membership in Mr. Paulus Powerlifting Club. Deadlifting is a term that describes the process of lifting a barbell off of the ground and up to your waist and involves strengthening your lower back muscles. Everyone take the time to congratulate Tian for this great achievement. Now it's time for Myron, man on the street Fleming, to hit the pavement out on campus and give us your opinions on pressing questions. Roll the footage, control room. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Myron, man on the street Fleming here with NBA Today, man on the street questions. What do you want the Mate and Mass Color shirts to be? Uh, what you want them to be? This is my girlfriend, by the way, Corinne. Very, very beautiful. Hello, Corinne. Uh, what you want? What you want? Black. Black. They say black. I'm thinking neon green, but that's my opinion. My man on the street, Fleming, here with NBA Today, asking seniors, what color do you want your Mate and Mass T-shirts to be? No, purple. Purple, purple, okay, purple. I like purple, I like purple. Hey! My man on the street Fleming here with NBA Today asking seniors, what colors do you want your mate and mask shirts to be? Black, yellow, and purple. I'm hearing a lot of black and purple, why is that? Because last year we got black, yellow, and purple. Okay, I'm thinking purple this year. My man on the street Fleming here with NBA Today asking seniors, what color do you want your mate and mask t-shirts to be? Red and white. Why white and white? Because red is my favorite color and white too. Because red is my favorite color. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hello, no, man. Hello. No. My man on the street filming here with NBA Today asking seniors, what color do you want your main mask t-shirts to be? Why is it always me? Is that a color? No. It is not a color. Hey! My man on the street flumming here with NBA Today asking seniors, what color do you want your mate and mask t-shirts to be? White pink. It is cute. I want pink. Thank you, Myron. Now it's time for sports with Dakari Gold Meadow Johnson. Windy with the chance of wind. Dakari, that's weather. You're supposed to do sports. Irissa, that's what you get for messing up my nicknames all of those times. 
Okay, we're sorry. Can you just do the sports, please? Last week, the girls' soccer team had three games, ending up with a record of 3-0. The boys' soccer team competed in the Melbourne Invitational and won both matches. This week on Thursday, the girls' basketball team is competing in preseason tip-off at Dr. Phillips. In cross-country news, five Eagles have earned all-county honors. Sierra Hopkins and Connor Bergen were selected for first-team all-county, while Maya Rafai, Addison Atkins, and Tanner Dotson have been selected for second-team all-county. Congratulations, runners. That's all for sports. I'm Dakari, Slow Motion Johnson. Thanks, Dakari. Now it's time for What's Up With That with Brendan Boyle. Thanks, Emilio. Hurricane Sandy, what's up with that? A week after Lance Armstrong's cycling team confesses he got cancer from taking steroids, a large part of New York and New Jersey were decimated by Superstorm Sandy's impact on the ocean tides. One local pondered that MTV's international sensation Jersey Shore was to blame for the weather. However, considering that both the Jersey Shore house and the show's retail store still stand, I'm guessing that the gods are fans of the fist-pumping Italian-Americans. This unprecedented natural disaster has hit very close to home with many of our fellow students and friends, and they will all need our help and support to rebuild the areas that are hit hard by the storm. At the same time, one has to hope that all of the construction will garner a much-needed upswing in construction and contracting jobs. They will hopefully help stimulate our economy. Preliminary estimates set the damage of the storm at somewhere between $30 and $50 billion. At any rate, keep those affected by the storm in your thoughts and prayers, and let's hope that our friends up north can get their lives back to normal as fast as possible. With more on this topic and many other topics, I'm Brandon from New Jersey Boyle. Thanks, Brandon. Now it's time for the weather with Devin Williams. Thank you, Arissa. Today calls for a sunny but chilly forecast with a high of 69 and a low of 49 degrees. There is a 0% chance of rain the rest of the week calls for high temperatures with winds of 5 miles per hour coming out of the northeast. That's all for weather. I'm Devin Sunshine Daydreaming Williams. Yes! Told you I could do it! Thank I told y'all! Thank you, Devin. Throw us up this week's edition of NBA Today. From myself and the rest of the crew in the TV studio production course in the Stephen Medias Art Building, I'm Emilio Geiler. And I'm Arisa Joe. Thanks for watching, and as always, Go, go Eagles! Eagles.